Let's give you a live look downtown Phoenix tonight on a perfect evening. Even in November, it is absolutely beautiful. 66, so, you know, a little crisper than earlier today, but very mild and warm for December. But one thing you may have noticed today, the sky was a little hazy out there. Yeah, something's going on. Erica Horvatine joins us with more on this. Yeah, guys, I mean, just looking toward all of the mountains today, you definitely noticed the haze. So we did take a video of earlier on the sunset, especially when you could really see that haze from the top of South Mountain. Looking out, that visibility is just not there. So it made me kind of question, what's going on? Like, why is it so hazy. Well, as it turns out that the only thing that could be moving in through the area is just smog and pollution. So let's talk a little bit about that. We did see lower air quality today. It was moderate across the city and I'm sorry, and then it was even unhealthy for sensitive groups a little bit further south of the mountain closer to Casa Grande. And now when we do see those moderate and unhealthy air qualities, a lot of times, including today, it's because of high levels of particulate matter. Particular matter is anything from dust from unsealed roads, smoke from fires, it can be car and truck exhaust, and then anything that comes from industry type situations. So a lot of particulate matter is made up of heavy metals, dioxins, furans, and benzopyrenes, which are all just compounds that come out of industry, and they're all carcinogenic, something to keep in mind. But our air quality is moderate, so that means that it's not as bad as it can get. However, check this out. The reason that the air quality was pretty bad today, it's all about the weather. So on the west side of the country, look at how we have some of these reds. In fact, the air quality is downright unhealthy in spots like Fresno and LA. But on the east side of the country, especially up to the northeast, we don't have that same problem. Well, it does coincide directly with the high pressure that we have across the west. So underneath high pressure, air sinks. That means the air becomes more stagnant and we see a lot of that pollution getting trapped closer to the ground. Meanwhile, out to the northeast, where we didn't have any pollution problems, you have low pressure, where air rises and it moves right along. So it's not just sitting there. Now, as we go through the next couple of days, we're going to be stuck in this situation. So that means more moderate air quality, but eventually we will get a storm to move all of that out by early next week. And we'll have a look at that in the full forecast. Back to you guys. Okay, Erica, thank you.